Hi, and thank you for joining me today. In this demonstration, I'm going to take you through the Loan Defender and its basic features on GoTrax. So I will be covering key functions such as tracking workers' GPS positions and the setup and use of alert escalation. So I'm just going to start by opening up the GoTrax app. Starting with the asset map, I'm able to see all my devices here as well as select a device from this bar on the left hand side. Clicking this will zoom in on this specific device. And I can see if this device is on or off by scrolling over here. So I see right here that the power is off. And I can see the breadcrumbs from today's movement. Now this device hasn't moved at all today, so I'm just going to change the time frame to last month. And there we go. So as you can see, scrolling over breadcrumbs, I can see all the data from that specific breadcrumb. And if I click on the breadcrumb, I also have the ability to see the street view at that place. In trips, I see the trips this device has made today. And again, this device has not made any trips today, so we're still looking at last month. If I click on one, I can also see the trip on the map here. And in clicking on one of these breadcrumbs, I again can see the street view. And in exceptions here, I can see exceptions detected by this device and dismiss any if I would like. And if I've already dismissed any exceptions, I can bring them back by just clicking show dismissed. And then hide them again. And again, I can click on an exception to view it on the map and see all this trip history and the exception history. Now under reports, in status, I can see the current statuses of all my devices here. In trips here, I'm showing all the trips that any of my devices have made during this specified time interval here. Under exceptions, I can see all the exceptions made by all of my devices within this time frame. And again, I can dismiss any exceptions if I'd like to. I can show any dismissed exceptions. Now on to settings. I can review my devices. In the report scheduler, I can set up a regular report to be emailed to me like this one that's emailed to Emil. In users, I can edit user information through any of these fields. In groups, I can edit the group icons. And in rules, I can make rules based on Loan Defender data. I'm just going to try adding a rule here to show you. So the special thing about the Loan Defender is that there's some pre-configured rules on here. So for example, the man down feature, which detects a lack of movement from the user. And I can first alert the user via text message and by calling them. And if they don't respond to either of those, and I'm gonna say if they don't respond to either of those within five minutes, I wanna escalate that to Vishal. And if he doesn't respond to that within another five minutes, I wanna escalate that to Emil. And after Emil, if another five minutes goes by and he doesn't respond, I'm going to escalate that to myself. So this is the alert escalation feature that comes with the Loan Defender. It allows you to establish a line of emergency contacts along which the alerts will flow. So as you can see, it will start by alerting the user themselves. If they don't respond, it will alert Vishal. If he doesn't respond, Emil, and then me. This just shows that the alert is acknowledged and the action will be taken to help the user should they need help. Now, other features of the Loan Defender include panic. So this alarm goes off when the panic button is pressed on the device. You can set up the alert escalation in the exact same way. Call me button, that alarm occurs when the user does request to be called by any of the emergency contacts. So I'm just going to take off alerting the driver because that is a purposeful button. RFID scan, I don't think I need any of these escalations for RFID. That is just to read any tags that are along their route. And the alarm button is the exact same as the panic button. So I'm also going to alert the driver by text message and by calling them before escalating the alert. So just going to exit out of that. So here's a screenshot of the email that each of these emergency contacts will receive if and when they are alerted. And you can see the error messages displayed here in order to stop 
further alert escalation, you just need to click on this link to acknowledge the alert. And here's a screenshot of the text message that these emergency contacts will receive from the device when alerted. And as you can see, the error message is displayed and a link is given to stop further escalation. And obviously, once missing the alert, it is your responsibility to follow up with the user in question. So that is a basic overview of the loan defender on GoTrax. For more information, feel free to contact us. Here's our contact information. Thank you.